I was sitting back in this little wind windbreak spot getting the sun. I was just kind of like scooping the sand around and I almost stuck myself with a syringe. And uh, <laughs> I got so bummed out that I just went to the store uh, right up here at the hardware store and bought one of those plastic rakes and went out there and raked that whole zone so that I could hang out safely without worrying about getting stuck again. From, from that point on, I just started noticing how much plastic was everywhere, like all over the beach, and not just up in the dunes. Eventually, I just started collecting it, you know, and got out of hand. No. You can come and see. I got a few of the jars of it over here. Um, spray paint because of the seawall, so kids are always taking the caps off and leaving them out there. And then I got tire caps. Those are like, I guess, falling off of cars or bikes. Syringes. Come on in here, let me show you all the other stuff I got. Yeah, this is a little better way to, I guess, show it to you. Knives, shotgun shells, paint brushes. And they never have the bristles. They never have the blades. These are some of my favorites because it's just like just arms, fangs, the letters that you find from the refrigerator magnets. Kids toys. The little rings that have candy on them. What are they called? Pop rings, ring pops, bubble blowers, Tonka trucks. So I have a lot of black. Gray, orange, blue, red, yellow. You know, separated all by color, and then the army men, that's what I was trying to get to here for you. I tell people a thousand, it's just the best guess. It just washes up, I can go out there and find you some right now. I remember this guy from the space set. He was one of my favorites because he looked so funny. Here's one of the vintage ones right here. Tim Me Toys. Sheriff, these here are toys. Some friends of mine once said that they were going to take a bunch of army men out there surfing with them and dump them out. Just watch me freak out when they float all in. I think they're from all over. I think they're from the whole bay, you know? Like the kids playing on the sidewalk in, in Stockton, and then it goes into the storm drain and then it's gone. Or, you know what's really funny actually, I was just thinking about it the other day as a plumber, all the uh, toothpaste tops that I find out there probably fell into the toilet and then, you know, got flushed or, you know, I find a lot of plumbing items out there all the time, you know, that, that obviously went into the toilet and then came out through the systems, you know. So it's not all kid stuff. It's not all cap guns and uh, pop rings. <laughs> it's everybody. I've contributed to this, I'm sure of it. I try not to buy as plastic as much as I can, you know. If it's got a plastic top, I try not to do it. It's so many things that make it happen. It's like, there's the rains, there's the winds, there's the tide and the waves, and it all just, it all meets right there at Ocean Beach. Thanks to Instagram, I found that there are a lot of places in the United Kingdom and uh, Sweden and Norway and uh, lots of other places that have the exact same stuff. There's a lady in Australia that finds a lot of the similar stuff. And I think there's a lady down in Montera and one in Santa Cruz that also pick up a lot of beach plastic. And I recognize a lot of the same things. So it's a, it's a worldwide phenomenon, not just exclusive to Ocean Beach. Every day. Every day for at least uh, two hours. Every day, all the same stuff. I look at it a bunch <laughs> and put it on Instagram so I can show it other people. Like, uh, I don't know, but I mostly just take the picture for myself so I can look at it a bunch. I almost want other people to witness this type of monstrosity, you know. 
if I pick it up, then who else is going to see this too type situation. So. I just made a, a piece for a friend that's in his shop down in Mission where I just stacked them all end to end like this and put them in a frame. It was like this big by that big. So they're like the, the things where you get the cheese and then you put it on the cracker, you know, and then you just throw it away when you're done. <laughs> <clears throat> cheese spreaders, craft, Ritz, handy snacks. I know that the San Francisco guys up the street will organize some sometimes and then they'll get like the neighborhoods together and there'll be like a, a school or two that'll come down for science day and cleanup day, earth day, that type of stuff. But I don't really join in on them too much. I like to kind of do it by myself. It's more of a meditating type, listen to the ocean, try not to think thing, you know. Do you want to go skate?